Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. I was just, uh, I was just messing around in paint. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Uh, these auto pictures and what they say, you know, it's, can't, I can't argue. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the motion capture retarget tutorial, where I'm going to show you how to throw some motion capture files on top of your rig that we created thus far so let's get straight into it let's try the make walk add-on there's a lot of issues but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't there's i have a backup in case it doesn't work first off you have to install it and i threw the install in the download folder which is actually in the link below so you can go there and download it you can install it by either taking it straight into your blender files or you go to user preferences and finding it's a dot py so like what right here just this uh initiate.py that should actually install it once you get that make walk installed you'll have it show up down here on your little toolbar over here so you, here's your make walk make sure you're in object mode and you have your rig selected if you're in edit mode or any other mode on your rig it would just give you a huge error sometimes it works for a rig and sometimes it doesn't so just hit load and retarget and actually in our blender tutorial folder I've included an angry walk BVH. This motion capture file was actually created by a student that we had in our motion capture lab. So let's hit load and retarget here. And it's super easy. Um, I had it set to 250 frames of that motion capture file. You can set it to more or less, it doesn't matter. You can go through these detailed steps, but you know this is a quick tutorial, so I'm not gonna run through all that. Usually load and retarget will give you everything you need. There you go you've got your rig walking it should work just fine nothing nothing seems out of place in this rig everything looks like it's moving accordingly it's pretty it's pretty awesome whenever your rig just works it just works so that's one way i'll actually show you the other motion capture way in my next video i'm going to split this up because i'm already past two minutes and we can't do that in this in these videos all right, so there you go. You've learned how to use the Make Walk plugin and sort of install it in just two minutes. I'll see you all in the next video where I show you the other process of adding motion capture. That actually comes pre-installed on Blender. You just have to enable it. So I'll see you then. Whoa, 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 whoa.